you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Clone Wars Thursday throwback. We're looking at Thysen on this Thursday throwback. The, uh, can't even remember the name of his species. Tals. Tals. T-A-L-Z, natives to Autoplutonia. Saw this guy in a season two episode. Very early on. Very early on. Season one or two. It's going back a while. Um, yeah, no trading cards or packaging for this guy. I've got him just how he is. Really, really happy to have this figure. He's just, he's one of the finest. He's just, it's, it's what I loved about the Clone Wars line. It was the weird, the wonderful, the the awesome sculpts, the, the diversity of aliens and alien life. Um, you know, there's just so much that line had to offer. And uh, yeah, this is definitely, definitely a winner in my opinion. This is really, really nice. You know, I haven't had a stopped and had a really good look at this guy for a long time so I'm excited to excited to do that here so let's take a look at his little spear here it's not little it's you know a little bit taller than him and he's not a he's not a short figure by any stretch if you look at the uh the sort of blade there it's almost got a little pearlescent vibe to it I think the blue might be a the sort of undercoat might be a sort of a, a, a metallic blue. And then it's got this sort of pinky purpley sort of dry brushing effect over it, which gives it almost a pearlescent look. And that's really cool. It gives it that sort of icy feel, you know. And then having it sort of wrapped, tied to the post, the pole. It's really cool. Nothing else to sort of offer there. That's cool. It's a nice piece. So now we'll get a look at him in all his beauty. I'm actually going to pop his shell off. Naked. So yeah, we've got that sort of pearlescent look, which is I reckon what they've tried to imitate. So this is actually cast in that sort of pearlescent plastic. If you put the two sort of side by side, you know, that, that, they've done a pretty good job with, with the paint job on the, uh, on the spear there, on the spearhead. So that's pretty good. So you've got some sort of teeth around the around the neck dress there. Obviously, this is taken from some other species to wear as armor. Some other snow snow species. It looks good though. Spikes aren't too sharp, which is good. So it's safe for children. Oh, let's get a look at let's look at this guy. Let's look at this this cute head. Look at him. Look at him. So cute. Oh, ugly. I don't know. I would say he looks like a spider. It's sort of based on a spider. I can kind of see that with the four eyes. But he's so fluffy. So the sculpting throughout the figures done beautifully all that fur really really nice this is only the second time we've seen this species in action figure form obviously we've had muff tack in the power of the force and then foul mudama from the gendi tartakovsky clone wars but that was just a sort of a retool of that muff tack figure he just got some he just got jedi robes and some boots um there wasn't really a lot else going on there but this one being, you know, all new, it's fantastic. Let's see if there's a date stamp under hidden under this this blue tack. So this is 2009. It came in a battle pack, which included. Eh, can't remember if I remember. While editing, I will flash an image up of the pack he came in. He's got a little bit of dust on him. He's sort of stuck on a little bit. You could probably do with a do with a nice hot bath. But yeah, I really love this figure. Love the claws of the feet, the hands, just the sculpt of the fur. 
um, articulation wise just got the swivel on the head obviously that's going to be you know limited a little bit by this once you put that back on which I will do right now I get, still get a little bit of movement that's enough uh, ball hinges in the shoulders ball hinges in the elbows swivels in the wrists there is a swivel in the middle of the torso there swivels at the hips hinges at the knees and no ankle articulation but sacrificing that wonderful sculpt on the legs for ankle articulation yeah not necessary Yeah, this is a this is one of those treasures, you know, one of those just you get so many figures and there's just some that are just, you know, absolute Hasbro just hit hit the mark 100 percent and this is one of them. It just struck gold. And then they sculpted this guy. The paint works really nice. And just sort of, you know, just the sort of the black of the fur in the face just sort of makes the eyes pop out. And the sculpt. You know, the big shell over the top it makes the figure look a lot bigger than he actually is. It's absolutely fantastic. It does have some peg holes there for a stand. Be an absolutely wonderful figure. Thysen, the towels from Auto Plutonia. Hope you've enjoyed checking this one out, folks. Be back for some more, more Clone Wars Thursday throwbacks next week. That's a bit of a tongue twister. All right, folks. Thanks again. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. We'll see you again soon. May the force be with you always.